This is the Florida Healthcare Association Provider Program, brought to you by Bruchard Insurance. Hi, I'm Emmett Reed, Executive Director of Florida Healthcare Association. Welcome to another edition of FHCA's Provider Program. FHCA had a full agenda this week, with several bills up in committee, a packed house for Lobby Wednesday, and our board of directors coming together for an update on association business. We spent the first half of the week resolving issues by making sure the bills we're focused on stay clear of language that could negatively impact our providers. House Bill 557 passed its first committee this week. FHCA has been working with Representative Sean Harrison, legislators, members of the Florida Bar, and other stakeholders to develop the best language that protects residents from financial abuse while relieving nursing centers and other healthcare facilities from the burdens of providing care that goes unpaid. House Bill 557 would provide a health care facility such as a hospital, nursing home, adult living facility with a cause of action to recoup its cost of care against a perpetrator who financially exploits a vulnerable adult by misusing that vulnerable adult's assets which are intended to pay for their health care. Bills related to the Gold Seal Award and expanding nurses' scope of practice continue to make progress along with ALF legislation that modifies fire safety standards in the Life Safety Code. FHCA was also successful in having nursing centers removed from the healthcare transparency legislation we reported on last week. Thanks to Senator Bradley for his willingness to listen and amend the bill to remove this duplicative process for our members. More than 100 members joined us for Lobby Wednesday, including current and former Florida leaders, caregivers from FHCA District 6 and 14, Valencia Hills Health and Rehab Center, and activity professionals from the Florida Healthcare Activity Coordinators Association. Their presence at the Capitol was critical as the House and Senate prepared to release their budgets. I'm here at Florida Healthcare Association's Lobby Wednesday because I think it's important for everybody to participate because we all have a voice. And it's very exciting um, meeting the senators and the senators' aide and, and speaking to them and letting them know what's important to us um, in long-term care. It's really important in this state to make our needs known. Uh, we have a lot of seniors. Today is Senior Day. Hi, my name is Jeannie Hitzegrad. Um, I am currently an administrator in training at Consulate of Newport Ritchie. I go to school at University of South Florida. And this is amazing to be in Tallahassee at the Capitol. I'm super grateful for this opportunity. Um, I'm meeting so many people, networking, which is obviously very important. Healthcare matters. Yes, it does. Woo FHCA's Board of Directors also joined us, meeting with lawmakers to discuss how important inflationary funding is to care and services they provide to Florida's frailest elders. There is still much work to be done to advance our legislative agenda. With your involvement in our grassroots advocacy, we can make a difference. Until next time, I'm Emmett Reed, keeping you informed about the critical issues that impact long-term care and the providers we represent.